Good morning, exceptional police. I believe uh, you had a wonderful weekend and you're also enjoying your meeting break. Uh, this morning, uh, we need to have a math class on a topic. I've introduced you to that topic uh, last week, which is our uh, week eight topic multiplication and division of fraction multiplication and division of fraction we all know what fraction is but we are looking at we we, uh, we had uh, done the addition subtraction now we want to look into how to multiply and how to divide fraction now please take note that they are not the same that how to solve uh, add, uh, addition and subtraction is different from multiplication and division. And one thing I've noticed is even when puppies understand how to solve them, they with at times puppies do me concepts the addition and subtraction together. So that is why I do tell you that mathematics is not all about intelligence. Mathematics is all about being meticulous. Someone who can score. 100 in mathematics is not the most intelligent puppy. Someone who will get the best mark in mathematics is not the most intelligent. The most intelligent might not even get all. The person that can score all is the meticulous puppy. A puppy who is very careful, extremely careful. So you need to be careful, yes, of what sign is there. Yes, especially the sign. You need to be careful of the operator. What I mean by operators, I mean your addition, your subtraction, and division and multiplication. They are operators. You need to be careful of your operator. If you are not careful of your operator, you just do the normal thing that is in your head without even uh, confirming what operator you're giving. Now, let's quickly reveal this. Uh, the key point here is when multiplying or dividing fractions, Change a mixed number into an improper fraction. If you have a mixed number, when you want to multiply or divide the divide fraction, the first thing to do is to change that mixed number into an improper fraction. And you simplify your answer. Now, let's quickly go. It's not uh, a difficult topic. Very, there's no topic that is difficult in mathematics. Yes, mathematics is the simplest subject you can know. Yes, it's the simplest subject. Yeah. So now more on multiplication of fractions. When you have of in uh, mathematics, it simply means times, or we all, we always call it times. It means multiply. Okay. Let me give you an instance. For instance, now we have uh, there are eight cars in Michael's tour connection. There are Eight cars in Michael's toy collection. One over two of the cars are red. How many red cars does Michael have? Now, this is this question is given grammatically. It's given in words. It's given in words. It's made up of sentences. How do we express it mathematically? Now, this question is saying that this problem is asking you. What is half of eight? The question is asking you, what is what? Half of eight. There are eight cars. We have eight cars in the Michael Story collection. Half of the cars are red. How many red cars does Michael have? So we can, we can summarize this question to what is half of eight? What is what? Half of eight. Okay, now in this sense, now your half, your half of eight means that the way to answer it is to put a multiplication sign in place of of. That means you change your of to a multiplication sign, which we call times, we regularly call times. So you get half times eight or eight times half, and you are done. Half times eight or what? Eight times half. Remember that your multiplication is commutative. Don't forget that. Your multiplication is what? 
commutative. Uh, what do I mean by that? Now, if you have 60 times 2, it's the same thing as 2 times 60. If you have uh, 10 times 1, or 10 times whatever, 10 times 10, 10 times 8, it's the same thing as 8 times 10, 9 times 5, it's the same thing as 5 times 9. So it's commutative, unlike subtraction. If you have uh, 50 times 2, it's not the same. 50 minus 2 is not the same as 2 minus 50. Do you understand that? 50 minus 2 is not the same as what? 2 minus 50. So your multiplication is complete. So when you have half times 8 and 8 times half, it's the same thing. So let's proceed into what kind of fraction. Multiplying fraction is easier than adding or subtraction because you don't need to find common denominators. You don't need to, to start looking for LCM. Note that. You don't need to start looking for what? LCM. To get your, to multiply fractions or to divide fraction even. You don't need to look for what? LCM. Okay? I know someone is saying, yeah, wow, thank God, I'm not going. It's not, you don't need to look for LCM. Okay? Uh, just multiply straight across. That's all you need to do. Multiply the numerators. Multiply the denominators. And... You simplify oh, your answer. Okay. Let's look at these examples. Example 1 says 2 over 3 times 4 over 5. 2 over 3 times 4 over 5. I told you, first thing, multiply the words numerators. Secondly, multiply the denominators. So here we have 2 times 4, which gives us 8. And uh, our denominators are 3 and 5. So 3 times 5, 15. So that is 8 over 15, which is our final answer. Why is this our final answer? Because 8 over 15 cannot be further divided. Because 8 over 15 cannot be further what? Divided. You can't, there's nothing that can divide 8 and as well divide 15. So 8 over 15 is our final answer. Okay, and it's a proper fraction already. If it's, a, it's an improper fraction we get, which we, we must have uh, tried to convert or change to missed number. So example two says, 9 over 2 times 3 over 7. 9 over 2 times 3 over 7. 9 times 3 is 27. 2 times 7 is what? 14. You can see how simple this is. So that's how you got your answer. But... 27 over 14 is an improper fraction. We, don't, we all know what the proper fraction are. They are fraction whose uh, numerator are bigger than uh, the uh, denominator. It's like me being carried by Micah. That is improper. Uh -huh. But if I, if Micah st uh, sits on my neck now, you know that is proper. I will not even feel it. Thank God my boy does not say he's not that fat. <laughs> so that is, so we're talking about improper is someone like us, uh, if a, if a dapo carrying me. So this is an improper fraction, improper fraction. So 27 over 14. So we have to convert to missed number. How many 40 can we see in 27? That's just one. As you can see written there. It's written there, one. Then remain that what? 13 over what? 14. I hope it's clear. So we have done 9 times 3 gives us 27. 2 times 7 gives us what? 14. Now let's put it to example 3. I have to look at uh, about 5 examples on multiplying fractions. Now in this example 3, we have uh, a mixed number and if, uh, an improper fraction. Okay, 2 on number 1 over 6 times 3 times, uh, times 3 over 2. So the first thing to do is step one, convert your mixed number to what? Improper. Convert your missed number to what's improper. And what do we get there? We have uh, 13 over 6. You know, this is 6, 2 over 1 over 6. 6 times 2, 12 plus 1, 13 over 6. So we have 13 over 6 times C, 3 over 2. Then multiply our numerators. 13 times 3 give us 39. Let me show you. Okay, 
13 times 3 gives us 39. 6 times 2 gives us what? 12. That is equals to what? 39 over 12. Oh, 39 over 12 is an improper fraction again. It's an improper fraction again. So we have a uh, 3 or number. How many times can we say in 39? 3. Uh, why? Because 2 times 3 is 36. So we mean that 3 over 12. Now looking at 3 over 12, is the very simple. Look at the very well. It's the very simple. Um, so as, that is why we have... Uh, That's that we have three here one and three in twelve, which is which, which will give us four. That is the final answer will be three or number one over four. Now example five now. Example five now. Example five. Oh, so four. Five times two over seven. Five times two over seven. So we have five times two, which is ten, and over seven. How many seven can we see in five? How many seven can we see in five? We have one. Remember what? How many seven can we see in ten? We have one rather. Made that 3 over 7. 5 times 2 over 7. 5 is our numerator here. And 2 is our numerator. 5 times 2 is 10. And 7 as our numerator multiplying nothing. So how many 7 can we say in 10? We have 1. So we made that what? 3 over 7. That is 1 number. 3 over 7. Now example 5. Example 5. We have uh, 16 over 3. Then it's 9 or number 1 over 2. The step one is to change 9 or number 1 over 2 to improper fraction. So we have 2 times 9, which is 18, plus 1, which is 19 over 2. That's why we have 19 over 2 here. You can see 19 over 2 here. So we have uh, 16 over 13, that is 19 over 2. Okay. You can check. Another method I'm using here is dividing. Check what is divisible. What I've been using is for you. The method I've been using at first is just to multiply the uh, numerator, multiply the numerator. But as an advanced puppy, an advanced puppy in mathematics, you can check what is, uh, you can check the numerators, what is divisible with the numerators even before multiplying. Look at this uh, for example now 16 over 3, 19 over 2. Now, looking at 16. I can see that 2 can go in 16. Then I say 2 year 1. You can see I've called that 2. 2 year 1. 2 in 16 gives me what? 8. Okay. And nothing can go again. So we have 8 over 3 times 19 over 1. So 8 times 19. They give us what? 152. 3 times 1. They give us what? 3. 8 times 19. 8 times 19. They give us what? 152. And uh, this 3 times 1 will give us what? 3. So we have um, oh sorry so we have 15 50 152 over 3 will give us how many 3 can we say in 15? That's 5. How many 3 can we say in 2? 0. Remember that what? 2 over 3. So I think this will be my last example on the multiplying fractions. When multiplying fraction, you can simply you can simplify your factors by cross reducing. You can simplify your factors by what? That is what I just did there. I simplify my factor by cross reducing. Now do that here, for instance, in your mind. Look at this question, 6 over 35. I will not be solving this. 5 over 24. So now you can just decide to cross.
cross, divide. Looking at me, when I say cross, reduce, dividing it. When you do something, you are dividing it. Okay, now looking at 6 over 35, 5 over 24, what can go in your mind? Tell me what can go. What can divide each other? And don't forget, you cannot divide numerator with numerator. Mm -hmm. You don't divide numerator with what? The numerator. You only divide numerator with the numerator. So it depends. It might even be, that is why I call it cross divide. You can see that 6, here, six will go in 24, and 5 also will go in 35. So yeah, with, by that, you are reducing the what? Your factors. Look at that second one I'm showing you to 2 over 15, 3 over what? 18. 3 will go in 15. 3 is a numerator. So I can divide with 15, which is the denominator. 2 is a numerator. I can divide with uh, 18, which is a what? A denominator. So with that, you are reducing your factors. Now, the last one, you can have a question like this too. 1 over 8 bracket, 4 over 5. Don't forget, your bracket also means a multiplication. Uh -huh. When you have a bracket, it means multiply. When you have a bracket, it means what? Multiply. Okay. That is about multiplying fractions. And this makes your work more easier so that you will not be having large numbers. It reduces the factors when you cross reduce. When you cross reduce. Now, let me quickly take you to another, because I'll ask you this question, don't forget, I'll ask you, uh, yes, when you come back, when you meet physically. Reciprocal, everybody said that? I can't hear you say it louder. Say reciprocal. Reciprocal, yes. I know you have heard of reciprocal in your grammar, like, you do say, people say respect is reciprocal. <laughs> yes. Um, you do say... Respect is reciprocal. All other things do people say is reciprocal. Now, you might imagine this. Your reciprocality does not depend on what you regard it as. Reciprocality is like flipping, flipping, flipping a number. The reciprocal is of a number is by, you get the reciprocal of a number by flipping it. Okay, let me show you. Reciprocal now. You get a reciprocal of number by inverting it. When we were doing math the last day, I was giving you a uh, kind of uh, uh, a head introduction of uh, dividing of fraction, dividing fraction, division of fraction, rather. I use, uh, I think, a fed up or, or who did I use by inviting him uh -huh, upside down uh -huh, to practically show you what you mean by invert. So the simply apply to reciprocal here. When two fractions are multiplied and their product is one, that means they are reciprocal of another. Oh, you're not getting what I'm saying, okay? Let us see it here. We can call it, it's as well known as inverting, I've said that before, or flipping. Inverting or what? Flipping, okay. Practically, let me show you. We have 2 over 3. Uh, 2 over 3. The reciprocal of 2 over 3 is 3 over 2. I'll flip just like inverting it. Are we understanding that now? Inverting it. Do we get that now? So when you invert a number, it's a reciprocal of another. And you can surely, when you multiply those two fractions, you will surely get what? One. You will surely get one, okay? That's all about reciprocal. For instance, the reciprocal of half, one over two is two over one. So we can simply say the reciprocal of one over two is two, okay? The reciprocal of one and over three over four will be what? 4 times 1 is 4, don't forget that, plus 3 is what, 7. So this can be regarded as what, regarded as 7 over 4. So the reciprocal of 7 over 4 is 4 over 7. Meaning that if I multiply 1 over 3 over 4 with 4 over 7, I will get 1. I hope you're getting it, okay? Another example, before I move on, the reciprocal of O number, 8. So the circle of 8 will be what? 1 over 8. We just flip it. You regard 8 standing alone. You want to put it in a fraction to be 8 over 1. So flipping it, you have what? 1 over 8. We just need to understand that as kind of a subtopic under multiplying and dividing. Because you are going to do that in division. I told you there's no part of math that should be handled slightly. There's no topic in math that you should not fully understand. Because you are going to lead it in the next topic. I'm, I'm telling you this because you'll be doing that while dividing 
fraction. You'll be flipping. You'll be having reciprocal of number fractions before you can divide them. You can change them to uh, times rather. So you need to look into it. But like, okay, let me ask you some questions. I want you to answer me in your mind there. So what is reciprocal of three? Yes, you get it. One over three. What is the reciprocal of ten? One over ten. What is the reciprocal of um, three over five? Three over five. Yes, 5 over 3. A round of applause for yourself. You got that. Now, let's move now to algorithm. We have a um, dividing fraction now. Remember these three things. This is all you do by dividing fraction. One, you keep. Two, change. Then three, the reciprocal. The first thing you do by dividing fraction is you keep change and what reciprocal so say it again first thing is second and third good one now what are you keeping what are you changing what is the reciprocal all about now you keep the the first fraction beside the a please i said it before we started this class before i went into uh into uh, introducing the topic and talking about the topic I, while, I, while I was doing it, I said, it's not being intelligent. It's not about being intelligent. Mathematics is not about being intelligent. Mathematics is also about being careful. Being what? Careful. You need to be careful before you can be the best in mathematics. Now, when we are talking about the keep and the change and the reciprocal now, you don't now, if you are now keeping the second fraction or the third fraction or whatever, it's really, that will lead to an error. That will, and I told you, there's no mistake in mathematics. I've always said that. There's no what? Mistake in mathematics. Once you make mistake, you fail it. Nothing like, ah, it's a mistake. That mistake leads to failure. So there's nothing like mistake in mathematics. So that's why I do say be meticulous. Be extremely what? Careful. First thing is to keep change and reciprocal as i was saying now the what are you keeping the first fraction what i say you are keeping please say it louder what are you keeping the first okay then what are you changing you are changing the division to multiplication changing the words division to what multiplication then the reciprocal of the last fraction then you multiply and simplify you are done so simple Let's go again. You keep, you change, and you get the reciprocal of the last one. You keep the first fraction, change the division to multiplication, and do what? Get the reciprocal of the last fraction. Then you finally multiply and simplify. Okay, let's move. Look at it here. Half divided by one over four. Half divided by a quarter. What are you keeping? You are keeping the first fraction. Can you see how I have uh, done it there? Keep the first fraction, change the division to times, then on over you flip. As I, I know I said uh, reciprocal is flipping or inverting. So I'm getting the one over four, the reciprocal of one over four is four over one. Okay, so I'm getting the reciprocal of the last fraction and I'm done. All I need to do now is to multiply and simplify. Okay, all right, let's see in action dividing fraction. So that first one that we have uh, half times one over four, and at the last we when we keep we keep one over two, right? You can see there we are we are going to get. Let me take you back there so that you can do what I'm saying. So your one times four here will be four. So two times one here will be two. So we have four over two, which is finally giving us what two. Okay. Now another example here is this. We have um, dividing fractions and we have 1 over 2 divided 3 over 4. Okay? We keep, don't forget that. We change the division to times. You can see my arrow. Then we flip 3 over 4 to be what? 4 over 3. That is keeping, changing, and what? Reciprocating. Okay? Then we have 1 times 4, which will give us 4, as you have it down here. 2 times 3, which will give us what? 6. And that is not our final answer. Why? Because something can still go in four and 
six eight digit can only divide both. So we have two in four gives us two, and two in three gives us what three. Two in six gives us three. Two in four, two, three in six give us three. Hello. I believe this is so simple for you. Okay. I believe you. It is simple. All right. You have your question now. You have your question now. Just 15 questions. Oh, that is someone is telling me that that is small. I, oh my God, my puppy is not like 100 questions. Am I right? I trust you. So now your question is just all about multiplying and dividing function. Please do not, do not fail one. Please, I beg you. You are working at home. You are working at your own, uh, you know, you are just like, eating is like, this is a breakfast for you, you know. So this is, so I don't want you to, you're not working on that dress. You know, I always time you in class. So time yourself. Don't say, ah, because Mr. David is not here. So let me just be, I can do number one and uh, go and watch TV. I can do number two. No, please discipline yourself. Time yourself. You are in, a, you are in senior class. Yes, you are in senior class. Time yourself. Give yourself time. Okay, I want to finish this question under 15 minutes. Yes, you can. This should not even take you up to 15 minutes. I told you that uh, this question can also be solved by your in other previous classes, like less classes. But what distinguishes you from other classes is how fast you can solve them. So please time yourself. Please, I will ask you at um, uh, the time interval, I will ask you how many minutes you use for the old question. And please, I know you, you tell me the truth, you don't lie. I don't have a puppy that tells lies. So do your work. Any question, send it to me. I'll answer you immediately. Yes, yes, yes. Love you. Love you. Take care. Bye for now. In fact, I'm missing you already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Take care. Love you all. Love you all.